Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how to visually tell the difference between blower motors or fan motors out of furnaces and air handlers. So these five are the main ones that you're going to run into out in the field. This one right here is an ECM Gentech 3.0, and the reason that you can tell that is it has a five-pin connector here and a four-pin connector. So the five pins for the 120 volts and the four pin is for the 24 volts. So these uh, variable speed blower motors are live all the time as well the X13 is. This next one right here, this is, has a 16 pin low voltage 24 volt wiring harness and once again it has a five uh, pin connector for the, the line voltage. This right here is an ECM Gentech 2.3 model. All right, so, so this is very, very common, so is this 3.0. This right here, this is the X13. This is becoming the new standard instead of PSE blower motors. The X13 right here, you have different speed taps, low voltage speed taps. The difference between this one and this one, in, in order to tell the difference, is this one has spade terminals. Okay, this one has pins, but this one can be either plugged in with a plug or individually spade connected in for the low voltage taps right here. So that's how you can tell that it's a, a uh, X13 just even from a distance. This right here is the old shaded pole uh, blower motor. So there is no ground wires. So you see this right here, you only have a, a ground wire and then you also have your speed wires. You have your common wire and then you have your high speed, your medium speed and your low speed. So this could be a uh, you could find these as a single speed, you could find these as a multi-speed, but these are the shaded pole blower motors and these are on older furnaces and they may not have ever been really meant to blow air conditioning. So if you do run into one of these uh, furnace with a shaded pole motor, say that it only has a single speed on it, you're going to need to change that out to either an X13 or a PSE blower motor. But you notice that that one did not have any taps for a capacitor. Now this one right here, this is a PSE blower motor. And this is the directional uh, plug right here. And you also have the two brown wires. One is going to have a, a white slash through it and that means that basically this and this white wire are actually connected inside the blower motor. This is a 120 volt PSE blower motor. But the fact that you have two brown wires right here, that's for the capacitor. As well, if you're if you're looking at a blower motor in the field and you see that it, it's connected to a capacitor, then once again, that's that's right away how you can tell that that is a PSE permanent split capacitor blower motor. And then here you have your speed taps, your high speed, your second highest, your your medium right here, and your low. So these are the five blower motors that you're typically going to run into in the field. And we're, we're running into more and more variable speeds and more and more X13s. In fact, a lot of uh, manufacturers are now putting the X13 in their base models instead of the PSE blower motor. And this is a single run capacitor. And this one happens to have a rating of 7.5 MFD. That would have to match the blower motor in order to be able to use it and plug it in. It, you see that we have these two brown wires attached onto our capacitor. And once again, this is the only blower motor that's going to have a capacitor. Check out some of my other videos on blower motor troubleshooting. And if you want to help support this HVACR trading channel, check out patreon.com slash acservicetech, where we're rewarding the members there by adding extra content, such as articles, videos, and answering questions. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech channel.